Hi, this is Peter the Clairvoyant here, and I'm doing your daily tarot reading here for the 3rd of May 2018. So let's just give these a good shuffle. I hope you're all feeling good and well. Um, so let's get on with this now, and let's see what we get. So I feel like we're going to go back to basics here for some reason. Um, so let's have a look what we're getting here. Oh, yes. I got a funny feeling things were going to take a bit of a shift here, um, a real change, and it suddenly has. It's like it feels though we're shifting away now from, you know, we've gone from the beginning where we were sorting out, um, you know, holidays, pleasurable things, then we've gone sorting money out. Now it seems to be shifting away from money a little bit. But here we've still got an helmet now, we've got to hold on to his money now, but it's more like we're saving for things a little bit now. Um, so saving the money, looking after what we got here, because we're holding on to it. But don't be too tight with the money now. Make sure you're enjoying life a little bit as well. But I'm also feeling with this as well, some things we we need to let go of a little bit. Some things may be weighing us down. Some thoughts, issues going on in our mind a little bit. And and I just get the feeling now, whatever whatever's troubling us now, we've got to let it go. And then here I've got the um, Eight of Swords, which is... The worries and anxieties, but this is where you've got your worries, but really it's saying, look, your worries are unfounded. So if you look at this lady, she's bound and gagged, and she's got a blindfold on, and then here we've got the stream, which is the path forward, and there is a gap between the swords. So whatever seems to be troubling you now, whatever we're holding on to, there is a way forward. You know, she's not too closed off to bangly gagged and everything she can break free from all this if she wants to so there is a way forward and then i've got the king of cups here now he can be somebody who's quite caring quite sensitive kind of keeps his feelings to himself a little bit and it's like he needs to learn to open up a little bit more now and show his thoughts and feelings and it just feels like i need to start sort of opening up a little bit and that's going to be so so important uh, so whatever we're holding on to now, and it could be this man here, he's holding on to things now, and he needs to let go of things now, he needs to start showing his thoughts and feelings, which is going to be so, so important. But I'm also feeling as well with the King of Cups as well, I'm being drawn to um, a doctor, so I just get the feeling health could be coming into this a little bit now, we need to look after our health a little bit now and start sorting things out, we can't keep shying away from things. Uh, so something's got to be dealt with and sorted out. So I just get the feeling as the, the week progresses, we can start trying to look after ourselves a little bit more. Or we could be just sort of doing a bit of research as well, finding out what our issues are and trying to sort of do what we can ourselves a little bit. But if it's a bit more negative than that, then maybe we will be seeking professional advice. But I just feel as though he's there in that kind of aspect. So... Again, whatever you're worrying about here, there doesn't seem to be too much to worry about. Definitely feeling very emotionally uplifted today, feeling very positive about things, a lot of love around us, we're giving a lot of love, and, and also we could have some, some new fresh starts, new beginnings coming in with it being an ace. And also, it does feel like if you've got any decisions to make as well with the ace and being drawn to the number one, you know, we could be making decisions and saying, right, I'm going to do this in the next day or the next week, one week or maybe one month. So there could be an element of timing with this. And whatever we're doing now, it's like our lives are starting to blossom out and grow. And also bear in mind, this is uh, the desert here and you've got this slow growth card coming here. It always draws me to spring and we're in spring now. So things are really starting to take shift a little bit now. And, and I'm also drawn to that as well, the messenger. So if we are going to see the doctor, maybe he's got sort of go away and, and check some things out for you. And then you're waiting to hear from the doctor of what your results are or something like that. Uh, but with the Ace of Cups coming back sort of behind that, I do feel so it's quite favourable. Okay, now, the Hierophant. Um, it's like whatever you've got to do and sort out now, you've got to definitely seek advice. And that really connects with the doctor, seeking advice. And maybe you're going to have to start confirming to some kind of rules and regulations now as you move forward. You've got to sort of stick to the true path. You can't go your own way. Um, you might not like that, but it feels like you've got to do it. 
So yeah, I, I'm feeling um, quite joyful with all this. And though I've got a few concerns, like I say, where there's a will, there's a way. Might be able to not go through a problem the way we should be. Maybe we've got to go around them. So like if anybody's winding you up or anything like that, don't try and face them head on. Just go around it now. Sometimes it's just not worth getting involved with all the negative energy. But I don't feel a lot of negative energy now. It feels like sh things are shifting forward a little bit and, and looking pretty good, pretty positive. Right, let's split the cards. Oh, wow, yeah. Setting goals now for the future. And I'm also uh, being drawn with this as well. Some of you could be thinking about study or training and maybe you've got a youngster who is focusing on the education and you've got to help them now to get all that sorted and and with the ace of one uh, eight of ones coming in sorry it feels like you know whatever we're sorting out now things are really taking off in a very quick fast way it's like i make a decision i'm doing it straight away i'm going to the doctor i'm going to get sorted straight away sorting out the study it's happening very quickly. There's a lot of speed, quickness around you. It's like we're not waiting weeks, months for it all to kick in. It's like it's happening now. So that's really good. And let's just see what's coming on top of these. These are your wish card now. So, yeah, the, 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 notice there's a lot of upliftment here. It's like as we get past all those worries and anxieties as we move forward, it's like things are looking really good. It's like a really positive day today and a great time to plan. Oh, but then it's like as we we sort of moving forward, then we're going back to worrying. Something's playing on his mind though today, so it, it it is positive. And I think just what it's just saying is yes, we've got us worries and concerns, a few things playing on his mind. Like we may be worrying what the doctor's going to say, but remember what it says in the beginning. There isn't really too much to worry about. It could be something simple. So I feel like you don't let. Keep putting your mind that it will drag you down, drain your energy, and you don't want that to be happening because it feels like the news is going to be favourable. So, whatever your concerns may be, uh, or seeking advice as well, because with the hierophant coming out, it's not just about the doctor. The we could be seeking advice in other kind of ways, and you might be worrying what sort of information you're going to get. But in the beginning here, it says your worries are unfounded. Or, if you don't like what you're hearing, because sometimes we don't always like it, you know, it's like we want that straight path, and maybe we can't go the way we want to go, but we have to go another way. But it doesn't mean it's not going to happen, it just may take us a little bit longer, or we may have to find out a bit more information, or find another way of doing it. So, yes, we've got our concerns, but our concerns are unfounded. So I just feel really, really good about that. That I think that's fantastic. Um, so I just think, you know, don't don't be worrying about anything. And and I've just been drawn um, to sort of feel so now we've just got to start looking forward a little bit now and planning ahead. And and I feel like we've got to start setting goals. You know, although we've mentioned study and training, I think, you know, we ought to need to look at it as simple goals, things that we want to be doing like, you know, when spring comes in, we think, oh, great, now we can get some things done. So do we want to set goals with the garden, the home, you know, whatever we've got to sort out with the car? You know, little things, things that are important to us, you know, as well. And it just feels like it's there to do it and get on with it. And we might think, oh, am I going to get it all done in one day or maybe, but maybe I can't get it done in one day and that's the worry. Well, OK, I'll have to do a bit tomorrow. Fine, tomorrow's another day. It doesn't really matter, does it? Might take us a bit long. Why worry about it? We, we'll get it sorted. And that's what it's all about. And maybe go back to what we said earlier on in the previous days. You know, to get family, try and help a little bit. And that's what it's all about. Can't do it all on your own. So ask for help. Don't keep putting all the burden on you. And that's what it is. It's like we've got to juggle things around a little bit to get what we want and what we're seeking. And then as we do that, it's looking pretty good. So, hope you've enjoyed that. Um, so, this is Peter the Clairvoyant here. So, if you want a more private, in-depth reading with other things that may be going on in your life, you know where I am. I do do phone readings, video readings, webcam readings, all sorts of things. You know, I've got many ways that we can connect. Okay, so, I wish you all the best. And I hope you're enjoying these daily video readings because I certainly am enjoying doing them.
So that's great. Thank you.